in Manchester, a flight from Pakistan has just arrived at Terminal 2. Flight crews are also subject to regulations, and today UK Border Officer Liz is using way, a new please, thermal camera to search the pilot. Okay, that's fine. Could you just turn around and face the wall for me, please? The pilot takes the new security okay, measure in good much. spirit. Do I get to see? Uh, uh, you, you, you can't, unfortunately. No, you can see me if you want. <laughs> you see me. wants to have a go himself. Yeah. So I just... It's all in monochrome, like, uh, not coloured. No. It's not coloured. No. Okay. So it's a th thermograph kind it's, of... A... Yeah, it's a thermal imager. So I'm cool? You're cool to go, yeah. The officers cool. find nothing untoward on the crew, so turn their attentions to the passengers. Kevin spots a bag bulging with rectangular packages and tracks it into the channels. Inside, he finds well over the allowance of 200 cigarettes and lots of answers. Are you here on holiday or are you working? Yes, I am on holiday. On holiday? Yeah. On your own? Just yeah. you? Just you? One. Just you, No one. family? Conveniently, the passenger doesn't understand. Here for 10 days. From 13 to 18. Who were the cigarettes for? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Them things on there? Who are they for? He also doesn't seem to no. understand. No. Who are they? Sorry? They're for yourself? Yes, yes, I will. All them are for you? Not for myself, for sell. To sell? Yeah. You're going to sell them? Yeah. Who to? Yeah. Who will you sell them to? It's a surprising admission and against the law. You don't know? The man's situation gets worse when Kevin discovers he works for the airline. If it's a crew, a crew member is yeah. classed as a privileged person. Yeah. Now, if they're carrying excess amounts of cigarettes, yeah. over a thousand, well, they'd be arrested and we could prosecute them for it. Right. Now, this guy's got nearly 10,000 cigarettes. Okay. Comes to light now that the passenger is a member of staff. He works in Karachi and as such, he's on a staff ticket. He's classed as a privileged person which means he has to be arrested and prosecuted. Kevin calls in the investigation team. David, just let one of them know we've got a prisoner over at T2. Three with cigarettes. Nearly 10,000. So we just let them know we're going to have a prisoner in due course, but they're going to need a translator. Um, we're about to do the arrest. We're just waiting for an Urdu speaking the immigration officer to come down to facilitate that. Kevin's keen eyes picked out the smuggler, and as he works for the airline, the man may be losing his job as well as his cigarettes. Back in Manchester, the Urdu interpreter has arrived. This smuggler caught with 10,000 cigarettes also works for an airline and is about to be arrested. We've had a translator explain to him exactly what's happened. He's, he's upset now because he, he's worked for the airline for 33 years. He thinks he now may be and, you know, about to lose his job, but he's not only brought in nearly 10,000 cigarettes, which he's admitted he's going to sell. It's an offence. You, you can't do that, unfortunately. As he's led away to be searched, the man's nerves get the better of him. He wants to go to the toilet. not got anything in there, he's in the ditch, is it? Yeah, just shut the door so he can go to the toilet. He wants to use the toilet, but because he's not been searched yet, he could have evidential stuff on him that he try and flush down the loop. Cigarette smugglers aren't usually accompanied to the toilets. But during the search, officers do find something in his jacket, and the man's day goes from bad to worse. A small package been found in the gentleman's pocket, and it looks like it could be drugs, possibly opium. I think it's possibly cannabis resin. You get a particular type of resin in Pakistan. If it does turn out to be potentially drugs, yeah, it's, it's cannabis. You see it's gone that red colour. So he, he, although he's been arrested for the cigarettes, he's now going to have to be arrested again for this. You know what OK. Is? Cannabis. Yeah. Cannabis. Yeah. 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 It's now 12.06. I'm arresting you on suspicion being normally involved in the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything. You may hold your defence if you do not mention with question and something which you later rely on in court. Do you understand? Suddenly the situation is crystal clear. Do you understand? Yeah. With two crimes to answer for, the consequences could be serious, even for such small amounts. 
3.5 grams. Well, he's potentially going to lose his job if his airline is involved about the offences he's committed. For, for the importation of the cigarettes, if we do decide to prosecute, he could face a fine. And for the importation of the drug as well, you're looking at a compound penalty. So that again could be a fine. So he could be facing a couple of hundred pound fine and, and potentially lose his job as well, which I believe he's been in his job for 33 years. So. It was a silly mistake to make this late in his career.